Roblox Studio scripting tutorial. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make an exploding wall. So first you obviously want to have your wall to explode. So I have mine built up right here. This is the part we're going to be exploding right here. So make sure you know the name of the part you want it to blow up. So I named mine blow part. And for extra nice details, if you want, you can add a little thing, like a sound effect. Um, I'll be teaching you about that after. So here's the little sound effect. And then we also have a proximity prompt. Now you can do many things with this. I already have all my values set in here. You guys don't need to worry about that. What you guys do need to know is now we need to hit the plus, And it will prompt us to insert an object. So type in script and then insert that and then what we want to do first is we want to delete the print hello world and we want to write script dot parent so script dot parent is just referencing the script and then it references the parent of the script which is the proximity prompt and then you write dot triggered connect function p l p l r enter so what we just did is we checked if it's triggered. So triggered is like, you know, when you press proximity prompt, then we connected it to a function and we added the parameter PLR. PLR stands for player and then end is just the end of our thing. So next we want to define our wall. So we type local wall equals script dot parent dot parent. So the script is referencing the script. The parent of the script is proximity the prompt, and then the parent of the proximity prompt is the wall we want to explode called blow part. We then want to go down and we want to type local explosion equals instance dot new explosion. We then want to go back into it and do comma wall. So what we just did is we we made an instance. An instance is parts and everything in Studio. And so instancing just created a new explosion. And when we do comma wall, it parents it to the wall. Now we're going to go down and type explo explosion dot explosion type equals enum dot explosion type dot no creators. This is going to make it so no craters are created when we make our explosion. Then we're going to do explosion, explosion dot position. So we're just trying to set the position equals wall dot position, which is just setting the position. Then we're going to do explosion dot blast radius equals zero so we're just setting the blast radius to zero we're going to do the same thing down here just we're going to type explosion dot blast pressure equals zero we're then going to do explosion dot destroy joint radius percent this will make and then we'll make that e zero this just makes it so it can't kill players or anything wall dot transparency is what we'll type next equals 0 0.5 this is the show the wall got blown up then we'll do wall dot can collide equals false this makes it so players can't like collide with it and then we'll do wall dot explosion which is the sound effect and then we'll just type play if you don't have a sound effect ignore this then we'll do task dot wait five enter then we'll do wall dot transparency equals zero and then we'll do wall dot can collide dot can collide equals true this is the end of our script so what we did in this last part is we waited five seconds and then we set the transparency back so it's you know fully transparent or not transparent and then we made it so you can run through the wall so let's go take a look at our final script. I used the same thing from last tutorial, so <laughs> it's this cache. So as I run up to this, 
When I go up, it'll say destroy wall. I'll press E and I'll hold it because I have mine set. And then after I'm done, it blows up and I can run through. Thanks for watching. Bye.